Another frustrating finish. How do you separate for like a month now how well you've played five on five compared to the three on three overtime, which continues to be an issue? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's hard to see. I think we're, I mean, we're trying. It's not that. I don't think it's an effort thing. I, I think we just got to figure a few things out internally and uh, hopefully come back and figure that out because I know we have a lot of good guys, uh, a lot of guys that have played a lot of three on three hockey that know how to win. Uh, and obviously, it shouldn't be going that way so far. Your coaching staff has talked about the depth you guys have up front and how much trust they have in your third and fourth line. Proof of that is tonight, halfway through the third period, you're on the ice, given that chance to make the big play, to give your team the go-ahead goal. What have you done as a group to earn that trust? Just play simple, simple as you can. And uh, when you're in that role of third, fourth line, you just want to get pucks behind them and, and make sure you take away momentum from them. And uh, I mean, we just got to keep it simple and we'll get our chances. What's it feel like to play in this arena? It's one of the most famous rinks in the world. <laughs> your family and friends here, your mom and dad in the house, and then to score that goal. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely special. It would have definitely been nice to get the win. Uh, but, I mean, it was, a, it was a blessing to have those people here, and uh, hopefully I'll have them at a lot more games. Great to see you score that goal. Thanks for the time tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Guys, that's Ryan Donato. He gets his second of the season. The Wild have that third period lead again. But once again, overtime has been their Achilles heel. It bites him one more time.